Let's talk about anything is possible. Chad Henney deserves praise after the Chiefs have now won uh, a Super Bowl with him as the backup. If you remember, the uh, the first one was with Matt Moore as the backup. Henny has retired since uh, the Super Bowl has ended. So let's give him some love as the you know biggest drive of his career, you could argue. I mean, he had some big ones in the Cleveland a playoff game in the divisional round as well, but they ended up losing the Super Bowl that year. So, uh, you know, this year they win the Super Bowl, and this drive was ended up being very important in a seven point game, getting a 98 yard touchdown drive with your backup quarterback. Yeah, that helped. Let's talk about how he was able to do it. Uh, it wasn't all just him, some of it was, you know, Pacheco had some good runs, but anyway. Uh, the play you see on the screen, this is a very important play because you're at your own two-yard line. It's a dangerous situation. And again, you got to give credit to Andy Reid here, I think. A lot of teams, uh, I think a lot of coaches would run the ball into spots saying, hey, we can't trust uh, you know our backup quarterback in this spot to make this play. But I, I always hate running the ball here. It it's just something that always scares me. I feel like there's a bigger chance of losing yards when you run the ball than when you pass the ball. I'd, much, I'd feel much more comfortable uh, you know, throwing the ball in this situation, especially when you have, you know, some really good, talented receivers. The most talented, of course, is that guy who is a tight end, Travis Kelsey. Uh, you see, because he's a tight end, because he's the guy lined up closest towards the offensive line, the player who's going to cover him is selling as though he's going to stay deep. He's selling as though it's going to be a two safety deep coverage, but it's not. And the reason why they're doing this, again, in case it's the running play to get an extra player in the box, can maybe get a safety. Because, you know, every time you get the, uh, your opponent in this spot, you're thinking safety. What Henny wants to do here is simply just get the ball off of the two-yard line. Give yourself some space. Give yourself some breathing room. And when you see Kelsey with no one really around him immediately, it's just a great situation. So that's what Henny's going to do. He takes the snap. He's going to flip it to Kelsey, who's able to pick up just enough yards to give yourself some breathing room, right? You're now in a situation where a sack, unless it's a deep sack, it's probably not going to be a, a safety. And at the very least, if you get pressure, you know you can step forward and avoid the safety in that situation. You can run the ball without fear of a safety. Uh, and if you don't get the first down, you can punt the ball now uh, without having it be a terrible punt. So there are plenty of positives uh, here. It's good play by Henny, good play by Kelsey. But later on in the drive, this thing would happen, which if you are, you know, if you're a big Chiefs fan, you certainly remember this play. This was the original anything is possible play. I, you know, I would like to start a petition to just rename this play anything is possible because that feels like that's, you know, the correct terminology for this one where Henny is going to uh, scramble towards the top of the screen. Uh, it's a designed rollout, not scramble, but he's going to uh, roll out towards the top of the screen. And it's Kadarius Tony who he's going to try to flip the ball to not Tyreek Hill because Tyreek Hill is not there. If you remember a couple years ago, it was Tyreek Hill who got the ball. Now it is Tony. Watch how one this play begins. It definitely is open, but I just find it interesting that this is kind of Andy Reid's play call he goes for in this situation uh, with Chad Henney. It makes you wonder if he just likes what Henney does in practice, if he thinks uh, Henney's very good at it. They do this play with Mahomes too, but you know, in a couple of big spots on a third down and short, and then obviously on the fourth down a couple of years ago, running the same play, clearly this is one Reed trusts Henny to make, which is kind of uh, rolling out from his left to his right quickly and hitting someone who, again, Tony doing a great job of getting very open on this play. Henny is able to hit Tony. Tony picks up the first down. Good job by both of those two guys in an important play because if they don't get that, I think that they punt it here, meaning that those seven points that they will eventually get on this drive, they would not get and, you know, gives the, the Jacksonville Jaguars better field position as well. There were some smaller things, right? Take what the defense gives you. That's always going to happen on a drive, uh, just in general. That's what Henny was able to do. This play, it's simple. And again, Kelsey is definitely the guy that Henny looked towards on most of these plays. This play, you have a receiver running a deep route. Kelsey just tries to go underneath. That's the way the play works. Watch how when Henny takes the snap, you're going to see that right here, there's a spot where, you know, uh, Kelsey's open. It's not wide open, but Henny makes this throw pretty well. They're able to pick up a decent completion and pick up some yards there. Good stuff. Again, not the craziest highlight reel level play. This isn't something that I would bring up on a film study if it wasn't specifically making a film study about this drive. But you know what? In the course of this drive, being able to you know get closer to the first down, having the can't go broke making a profit mentality is definitely something that's important because it would set up a more achievable third down. And this third down would be an impressive play from 
Henny, where what's going to happen is, first off, it's cover zero right here. I mean, they're going after Henny, which makes some sense, right? Hey, here's this guy who came in cold. Let's, let's you know, go after him. So for Chad Henny, you see that they're showing as though this could be a blitz. You don't know if it's going to be a blitz, but they're showing cover zero. I mean, that, that's, if you're sitting here and reading what is this play most likely to be, your guess would be cover zero. So that's what they're showing. Henny knows this. He's been in the league for a while. And so he's thinking, okay, well, in this cover zero situation, I got to look for a good option. I got to look for my best option. What's my best one-on-one -on -one matchup? This is a question for most teams. It's not a question for Kansas City. And with all due respect to Juju Smith-Schuster and Kadarius Toney and all these guys who can definitely play, uh, and I think are underrated, the receiving core of the Chiefs, there's one guy who stands out. That guy right there, Travis Kelsey, of course, he's the guy you're going to look at. That's where one, uh, Henny, if he, you know, he's going to look up, see if it's a blitz. And if it is, he's going to throw it to Kelsey. Look at how one display begins. You see that Chad Henny right here. I mean, he's about to get clobbered. Again, cover zero means that there's six rushers and only five blockers. So someone's getting through on touch, but he stays in the pocket long enough to look towards Kelsey and see that Kelsey is a little bit open, but not by much. And again, has to get to the 41-yard line. He's standing on the 40-yard line. This is going to be tough, but you know what? It's Kelsey. Give him the ball and hope it works out. As you see, Henny does give Kelsey the ball, and it does work out. Kelsey does a great job after the catch, and even during the catch, really, of being able to fight forward and pick up as many yards as possible. This is the benefit of having Travis Kelsey on your team. Uh, yes, you could argue, oh, what? that's just all Henny's doing, throwing the ball to Travis Kelsey. Anyone could do that. Uh, well, first off, no, not anyone could. But secondly, part of your value as a quarterback is knowing where to put the football and knowing when you throw it to your best player and when you don't throw it to your best player. And that's the time when you throw it to your best player. Really good stuff from Henny. Also, this one, the touchdown to cap off the drive, it would be uh, you know just a pick play. Essentially, you have Marquez Vadas scantling who's going to you know run out get in the way of whoever's covering Kelsey. Kelsey runs underneath, and as long as MVS doesn't get into the end zone here and stays within one yard of the line of scrimmage, then he's going to be all right. It's not a penalty to throw a pick uh, you know, within one yard of the line of scrimmage. Watch as one, uh, you know, uh, Henny runs this play action. He looks over, and Kelsey is open. It's good scheme by Andy Reid. Henny is going to hit Kelsey, who is able to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Good stuff by Kelsey. Again, this was, in some ways, a Travis Kelsey video as well, which, let's be honest, when you talk about the Chiefs, it's hard not to talk about Travis Kelsey. He's just one of those guys where when you make a video on their offense, he, he at certain points, is going to pop up because he means so much to that offense. But you know what? Hey, what should you do if you're a backup quarterback? Lean on your star players. And that's what Henny did. And had Henny not made a couple of these not so easy plays, the reality is the Chiefs might not win the Super Bowl. They might not win a playoff game this year. There is an alternate universe where they lose uh, in this Super Bowl or they lose in this game and don't even make the Super Bowl. And then the narrative of Mahomes is completely different. It's he only has one Super Bowl ring despite having all these great Chiefs teams. What's going on? Why can't they win the big one? But you know what? Sometimes you need some other players to step up, and that's what happened with Henny. He deserves a lot of credit for what he did. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's also just interesting, just the way football works, right? The way sports work, where so much of it hangs in the balance of these small little things. And good job of Henny for being able to uh, pull that drive off. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.